Okay, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of celebration coming in. There's some good news that you've been waiting for. You've been facing a lot of challenges recently, maybe feeling very lonely, very isolated, uh, you know, having to deal with a lot of problems. Uh, and But it looks like you're going to be overcoming that because there's some good news coming in there and some celebration. But it also brings in a lot of clarity, and there might be a decision that you will be facing soon. Um, you know, uh, you will have to make some kind of choice as well. Now, in the past, you've got a lot of faith going on over here, so you've been, uh, you know, hoping for something to happen. You've been probably dealing with a lot of people that have been very greedy or dealing with a lot of that kind of energy going on around. Maybe people expecting too much out of you, uh, you know, draining you as well. You know, you get a lot of energy vampires. This could be that case. And so you've been dealing with that where people have been, you know, taking your energy from you. And maybe it's been uh, leaving you feeling a bit worn out. Now, going into the future, you've got the lady over there. So some female and a male, two male, uh, two people, uh, a lady and a dark-haired man featuring both. And, uh, you know, they are going to be people that are going to be playing a big role in future outcomes for you. So this woman, this lady, she's looking to the future. So it's somebody that affects your future plans. And then you've got this dark-haired man over here that is somebody that also plays an important role uh, in your life for the future. So those are the energies for those two weeks. Now this is, oops, this is the uh, Tarot of New Vision. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so um, whatever you've been doing, you've um, faced a really, really difficult situation. Now, you've got that three of, uh, three of swords over there, uh, you know, on the wall. So you ha have been dealing with a, uh, you know, whatever's been going on uh, has caused a lot of problems, uh, a lot of uh, miscommunications, a lot of bad communications, a lot of uh, maybe vindictive behavior in your work scenario. It's really tired you out. It's stressed you out, um, you know, and uh, you've got that sword over there. So, you know, you are now taking, maybe maybe you're taking a little bit of a break from your work right now. You might be on a vacation at the moment and trying to get to grips with whatever happened. You're definitely isolating yourself from the crowd or moving you uh, away uh, from people that uh, are giving you grief so you are you know looking at whatever happened whatever that breakdown of communication was and you're trying to come up with a plan so here this person is taking some time out to come up with a plan or trying to come up with a solution to that particular problem trying to get their power back uh, so whatever happened within that work scenario disempowered you, um, you know, in the sense that, um, you know, you uh, were not able to cope with it. So it caused a lot of stress and, you know, you may have gotten ill. This might be you recovering from a, a, a work-related illness, something that caused stress that meant that you have to take some time out from work and recover, recover from that situation. And it's all been brought out by the stress of that situation. So what's happening with you? You are now sitting back and making some plans. So you are taking a break from it. So maybe on this, uh, maybe you're on sick leave at the moment, or you may be taking a little bit of holiday. You are sitting there and making some plans for the future. So you do want to move on. Maybe this job that you're doing has been far too stressful for you, and this is the reason why you're getting ill, or you're you're needing to take this little bit of a break. And now you're sitting back and making uh, plans. So you're putting out a lot of communications. It seems like maybe you're putting out your CV to a lot of people, or communicating of the internet. Internet. There's a lot of birds going out, so there's a lot of information that you're sending out, um, you know, on the airwaves. So it's like, you know, you're sending out your CV over the internet as well. There's some obstacles. Uh, you want to start again, but you're a bit stuck in that particular situation. You've got that fool sitting over there, so you want to make that change. You want to take the risk, but there's something that's preventing you from moving on. You want to leave that old situation behind, and you want to move forward, and maybe you want more freedom, and you want to do some traveling. You definitely do want to do traveling, or you, you are, um, whatever this job is that you are considering, it involves a lot of international communication and it might involve relocation or uh, moving on, uh, you know, working on that broader audience, 
with a more international audience. So you are considering moving. And you've got the two of wands over here. This is making the plans, and this uh, three of wands is actually putting those plans into action. So it looks like whatever plans you have, you are going uh, you know, you are going forth with it. You are actually putting into practice. So uh, you are communicating with a lot of people, and it looks like you will be working with a lot of people on that international front, collaborating with a lot of people, and you will be leaving these this old job behind because you can see he's walking away from those old two rods over there, and he's taking his rod and he's moving forward, uh, you know, with this train. So it looks like you're going to be moving home. Uh, so you'll be making a plan, uh, plans, or right now you're in the process of making plans, and it looks like you will be moving on. And and it's going to be something that involves international communication because whatever happened, you know, you have uh, taken a, it seems like you've taken a break from it. The card below it is got is the seven of um, pentacles, which is showing that whatever you invested in that job is not paying off. Whatever you're getting, the returns you're getting is very slim compared to what is available and what you could be getting. So that is the reason why, you know, maybe this is the reason why there's been, and there's a lot of problems in this job. Maybe this is the reason why you're, you're getting ill because you're stressed, you're not making enough money. And this is the reason why you're making plans to leave this old job behind and you will leave it and move on. And here you've got that eight of cups of here, so walking away from an established situation. So it looks like in this is the scenario about you wanting to leave this job has been going on for for a long time now. You were working in this job for a long time, so this is a long term job that you had. You know you were quite established. These cups are really you know all uh, piled up. They are you know very organized. So whatever you did. Uh, or worked in this could even be a retirement you know where you worked there for a long time and you're moving away because there's a lot of fireworks there so it's almost like a celebration about leaving uh, so this could be a retirement but this could also be about you've had enough with that particular scenario there's too much of drama and you've decided to walk away and follow your own path whatever new job that you are considering is going to be a job of higher management so it seems like you know you'll be in charge of a lot of people you can see here this woman um, on the back of the throne there's a lot of people that she is organizing that she's directing so whatever post you are it's going to be you know you're going to be very work focused you are making plans for the future but it's also going to be a job of a lot of authority and it's going to bring in you know you're going to be have to be very organized very practical about it and it's going to bring in that abundance so this is a new offer that you are uh, accepting and you are going to be moving on and you can see that you are very disappointed whatever you have been doing you feel like you haven't achieved uh, you know maybe you're regretting whatever you did uh, this job that you did or whatever you didn't do and it seems like you know you are um, you know you're not being supported these people are walking away from you and you're crying over the things that you didn't accomplish so this is about re uh, regret and being disappointed at being unhappy in that particular scenario and you know there looks like there's offers that are coming in and it looks like whatever you've been doing you're not very happy like i said with that seven of pentacles whatever investment you made did not pay off and you are not really happy about it so you're planning on leaving it behind and moving on you are very very much making the plans right now you reach that crossroads in your life with the judgment card and it looks like the decision has been made in your mind you have made that decision to move forward and you are going on it might be on a different pathway but you have definitely made a decision to move on and here you've got the two of cups so you're going into partnership with somebody or you'll be working with somebody that you enjoy quite a bit you've got that caduceus which is about work and it's about business so whatever this new business agreement is whatever this uh, is there's a lot of communication going on over here this person is obviously you know this could be foreign uh, so this is an overseas kind of relationship going on um, it looks like you know you'll be working in some some for some place that is foreign to you you haven't worked there before and it's, you're going to enjoy it and this person who um, you know you're going to partnership with is somebody that you connect with and somebody that you have a really good relationship with so it's going to be a long term very stable and it's going to be something that you you know is quite supportive as well and you've got that nine of cups so this is that wish fulfillment cups uh, you know you it, it feels almost as though that particular friendship that you have is so good it's almost like you know it's like child's play if you like so it's going to be something that you enjoy. There's not a lot of stress uh, and you will achieve everything that you want. She's eating sweets there and they're playing. So it, it almost feels as though, uh, you know, uh, this is that wish fulfillment. So you're getting what you want and you're going to be enjoying it. And, uh, you know, there's not going to be that stress that you're going through at the moment. So you are making that move. You are cutting out ties and you are going to 
uh, to take that chance, that risk. So this is the fool taking the risk, and there has been a lot of drama in wherever you're working at the moment. This is the reason why. Maybe you're still a bit worried about taking that risk. You want to take it, but you're a bit worried about it, and you're a bit, um, you know, unsure of yourself. But it looks like, you know, there's going to be, a, you know, there is somebody that you're going to need to ask for some advice from. So there's somebody around you or somebody that, you know, who will be able to give you uh, good advice and tell you how to get that abundance. Uh, somebody that gives you that assurance that whatever you do is going to be very successful. This might be somebody... Um, you know, who has got a lot of authority or they, they're somebody who's in a higher position than you that can give you, the, show you the ropes, really. But there's somebody that you need to go and ask that advice from to get that reassurance. And whatever you, decision you make is going to be very successful. You've got the Ten of Cups over there. So going from that Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, it's going to be something really good. So if you decide to make this change, uh, you know, it will be successful. You will enjoy working uh, with these people. It's going to be, you know, bring that out, that child um part of you you know you're going to enjoy it a lot and that's the end of all kinds of emotional difficulties that you might have been having and it's going to allow you to focus um you know on your work and you know there's a lot of collaboration um you know there's a lot of stability and security in this new job and there's a lot of freedom and a lot of travel that comes in over here um there's a lot of communication going on so it's a job that involves a lot of travel communication um you know something that you enjoy um you know uh and it's going to give you that freedom. It's something that uh, the sign of Gemini really likes because, you know, Mercury is uh, ruled uh, by... Um sorry, uh, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Uh, Mercury is the god of communication and travel, and, and Mercury loves its freedom. So this particular job is going to be ticking all the boxes for you as far as that goes. But it also gives you that financial security, and there's a lot of meetings that you will have. You will meet a lot of people as well. So it looks like, you know, whatever you're going to be doing now, you're going to be working with somebody that you enjoy. It's going to be almost like a wish fulfillment. You're going to really enjoy that particular uh, field of work that you're doing. There's a lot of travel a lot of freedom and it's going to be the end of difficult situation difficulties that you're going through and also you know this is a job uh you do need to get that reassurance from somebody around you like i said go and get that advice uh and a reassurance that you're doing the right thing so uh, you are at that crossroads and you are being called to make that decision uh so you know it's something you will uh it looks like you will leave that old post and move on and travel quite a bit um, you know, you are branching out, you are widening your horizons at this particular moment. So this is the fairy tarot. And we've got the five of summer over here, which says, trust that there is a reason for everything that happens and remove yourself from negative emotions of others, focusing on that which frightens or worries you. So with the five of summer is, you know, this had to happen, whatever happened in this particular scenario, although it's left you feeling a bit depressed, disappointed, uh, disillusioned, it needed to happen so that you can move on and find something better. And you've got the Prince of Autumn over here, so cautious but wide, wise action, meticulous attention to detail and kindness to others. So with the Prince of Autumn, Prince is the Prince of um, Pentacles, and this is about working pretty hard and achieving your goals. So you will be able to, to get that money in that you, you want, and it eventually will bring in a lot of abundance. So, you, you know, you're starting off a little on this, you know, you're starting off small and ending off big. So, you know, this uh, particular job has a, a broad scope for um, promotions and getting to the top over here. So be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything is going your way, a good person or company to work for. So if you're worried or you're doubting about whether or not this particular job is a good one to accept or this particular offer, it is because this company seems to be a good company to work for. And, you know, you should make that move. It's going to bring in a lot of of happiness and you know it's going to bring in that job security as well so whatever decision you're making whatever job new job you're taking it's going to you know bring a lot of success uh, the company that you'll be working with is going to be a good company and it looks like you know there's a lot of scope for for actually promoting and getting to to the top into that leadership position or leadership role that you want um, and it's going to give you a lot of freedom and, you know, it's going to be the end of uh, very difficult situations that you've been going through. And you'll enjoy it quite a bit. So I hope that the, this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also watch my uh, videos on energy remedies. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care.